Uh, yes, I have a question. Uh, I was the, the driver in a single car accident, and I was um, injured when the airbags on the and the driver's side did not go off, and I had my seat belt on. Mm-hmm. But there was no passenger in the car, and all the passenger side airbags went off. And uh, I had a bad head injury with black eyes and everything. And I was just wondering about product liability with mm-hmm. airbags. How long ago was that, J.D.? Uh, less than a year ago. Okay, good to know. All right, what do you think? Let's talk about our statute of limitations first, just for the viewers out That's there. Right. Just to, uh, And then, uh, you know, obviously uh, we see a lot of airbag claims. So. That was what I was going to mention first, actually, was you, you got two years. Two years generally in Alabama from the time an injury occurs, and that includes the kind of injury that, that you suffered from an airbag that, that failed to deploy. Um, you know, you can't have a claim for airbags failing to deploy, but the claims are not easy to bring. They're not easy to maintain. They're not easy to win. They require a lot of expert testimony, a lot of time, and there's a lot of risk involved. Most of the time, those claims are reserved for the most serious injuries, but if you feel like you have a claim, you should definitely contact a lawyer and talk about it. Yeah. Okay, I uh, thought you had something, but uh, that's he, it. No, he, he's right on. The, it, it, the injury a lot of times, uh, the degree of injury a lot of times uh, determines whether or not those cases are able to be pursued. So. Okay, all right. We hope that helps.